Hi, welcome to the Cranog. We're very excited um, about it. It's um, not a new project um, for us. It was delivered in 2016. But we'd like to tell you the story about how this um, came to, to be. As part of the Seven Locks project, they actually drained the lake behind me and found a medieval Cranog structure. And, and so we wanted to, to use this um, discovery um, to deliver something um, creative um, and a play area that really fit and told the story um, of the space. Um, and that's what we have um, behind us in the, um, the Cranog. So because the Cranog was a medieval structure, we really wanted to make sure that we used very sympathetic materials and made sure that the landscape around that structure was also really sympathetic to that time and the aesthetic. So we chose really natural materials, um, our Rabinia timber and rope and metal. We believe the Cranog uh, is the most accessible single structure um, play space in the, um, in the UK. And that's been achieved um, by creating um, a, a series of ramps, some of which, which are moving, um, but developing the, the landscape and moving the landscape in such a way that the whole unit becomes accessible. This project um, is amazing in the whole scale um, of it. You can see the, the size of the, the posts that we've been used but also the length and height of the components um, that are used throughout the structure. Um, wheelchair users need to experience height and they need to be get to a different eye level. And you can imagine the difference in perspective um, that a wheelchair user gets to experience by being um, high and getting the views um, over this beautiful park. As a designer, one of the best parts of the job is storytelling. Um, and with the amazing story of the Cranog sitting in a lock, we wanted to capture that. And to do that, we chose to colour the wood. So it has a blue stain at the bottom to make it look like that it's sat within the water. So not only can wheelchair users um, get onto the structure and experience height that maybe they haven't experienced um, before, but they can also experience the sensation of movement. Um, through a series of wobbly bridges that have been created um, especially for this structure. So once in the heart of the, the play space there's many choices of different routes um, to take. It's easy for a wheelchair um, to turn due to the scale um, of the product. You also have the height um, if someone, a carer, is pushing a wheelchair there's no problem um, with someone being able to, to push a wheelchair through without having to, to bend down. So due to the scale um, of this structure we're able to fit a second level of play um, underneath um, which gives double the play value. So there's such a variety of play elements, um, it allows lots of different um, challenge um, and play experiences and play at different, um, different heights. Um, using different um, muscle groups and different challenges. Another really unique feature is at the heart of the structure. Um, we have these two levels of play and on the bottom level, under the, the tower structure, we have a lying net. So a bit of a quieter area for children to sort of escape, relax and recharge. And we put a mirror on the ceiling so children can lie on the net, look up and their ref reflection will make it look like they're floating on water. Whilst um, the structure at the Cranog has got loads of accessible um, elements, it doesn't eliminate challenge. It's got loads of challenging components as well. You can see the scale um, of this um, climbing um, ramp. Um, it's over two metres high. We have a huge double width slide, um, which means that a parent or a carer could come down and support their child um, down the slide. Um, most slides for that double width are only this height. So we've taken influence from a lot of the habitat that would have been around in the medieval times when the Cranog was here originally and we've used that habitat to influence a lot of carvings that we have placed on the structure. This guy is my favourite, he's a beaver. It's just a lovely little element that kids can interact with whilst they're playing around the structure. This site has also been enhanced by including a number of dynamic um, pieces, including a double cableway, um, a pendulum swing and a rope end swing um, to get that movement and that sensation into play.